Hello, my name is Olivia. I'm a ninth grade student at a high school near Temple University in Philadelphia. Last summer, I participated in a six week STEM camp at Temple and I loved it. Someday, I'm gonna go to Temple University. The title of my project is The Effect of Moisture on the Growth of Mold on Organic Bread. My mom and grandma taught me to bake bread. I'm a curious baker and wonder what causes bread to spoil with mold. Mold is a very common fungus. Among us, which can go almost anywhere, I was curious to understand how additional water levels influence the growth of mold. Because I was curious, I entered the science fair. With the help of teachers and resources, I was able to complete this trifold poster. When you enter a science fair, you need to complete a trifold poster. It has all the components that help explain your experiment. My hypothesis is that higher moisture or water levels will increase mold growth. The purpose of this project is to see if higher water content will result in a greater percentage coverage of mold in organic bread and when this will happen. In other words, how much of the fungus covers the whole entire bread and how long does this take? And everything we just talked about is stated in my hypothesis and my background. And next on my trifold, I'm gonna talk about the materials I used and how I did my experiment, and that is called the procedure. For my experimental design, I took three two inch by two inch samples that looks a little like this, samples of organic bread and tested a bread control with no water at all. And then we took three samples of organic bread and we watered it with five milliliters of water. We then took another three samples of the bread and we watered with 10 milliliters of water. To recap, we had one control group. It had no water at all. We had our first group, it had five milliliters of water. And then we had our second group and it had 10 milliliters of water. Each sample was placed in a Ziploc bag and stored in a dark closet at room temperature. In my experiment, observations were taken every two days until a green colony of mold was observed. Then observations were made daily and stopped after the ninth day. Here's a picture of all my samples on day one. It's very important in your experiment to include a graph with all your results. The graph shows right here that the mold was not observed on any test sample until day six. On this day and through the ninth day, the 10 milliliter experimental samples had the highest visible mold coverage. The five milliliter experimental sample in the control demonstrated no mold through eight days and less than 10% coverage on the ninth versus the 65% for the 10 milliliter experimental sample. My results in the upper corner conclude that water levels and time play a huge role in influencing the growth of mold. This proves my hypothesis that higher water levels will result in increased mold growth, and it's correct. What I found interesting during my research was that there was a sudden occurrence of mold at six days. In the future, if I wanted more data for this experiment, I would test more samples of bread and I would test for more days. This is a poster that I made. If you would like to view it in more detail, view it at the end of the video.